Nerd! Welcome to the Know. I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm hashtag Bernie and Ashley. Yeah. Yes. It's that time of year again. Fiscal earnings report. Fiscal earnings reports. There's nothing more exciting than financial reports to get you in the mood. Everyone likes to hear more about hot, steamy revenue projections. I'm more into EBI TDA myself. EBITDA. That's how you say that. EBITDA. I'm into EBITDA. She's into the, the scene. She doesn't EBITDA. know what the terminology is though. <laughs> So it's your bottom line gearbox. All right, this is the part of the year where everyone throws around tons of numbers with a lot of commas about how much money they're making and people like us pick it apart for your enjoyment. Because what else do you want to do but analyze what other people make even it's none of our business. I'd rather do anything else. And now the latest reports from Sony, Nintendo, Microsoft are all officially in. We thought we'd uh, sift through all that data, spot some interesting trends and make some crazy statements about who's kicking ass this generation and where the industry's headed. Spoiler alert, everyone is making more money than you. Hey, and just in time too, since apparently everybody's going to be starting a new generation all over again this fall. When did that happen? We're like generation point five. Yes. Uh, a couple caveats for Sony and Nintendo. We're talking about 2015 fiscal year reports, which ended in March. Because that for, makes sense. Right, it, yeah, it makes no sense. For Microsoft, we're dealing with just one quarter as their fiscal year operates on a slightly different timeline. But we can still get enough information to make a few of those crazy statements. Crazy statement number one. Sony's gaming division is absolutely killing it this generation. Nah, it might not seem like much. It's just another entry in the shit we already know department. Hey. Uh, but the rate at which they're killing it might be surprising. On the whole, Sony's gaming arm, classified by the company as its game and network services division, pulled in $12.4 billion in 2015. And just the company's PSN service by itself pulled in 4.9 billion. On the other hand, Nintendo's entire company business brought in just around 4.5 billion dollars. The whole company. Keeping score at home, that's less. That <laughs> means the PSN by itself brought in more money than Nintendo as a company. That includes hardware, software, and network sales. Yeah, overall gaming was the biggest revenue generator out of all Sony's departments, even beating out their mobile home entertainment and movie divisions. No surprise there, really. Their gaming division has been their golden goose for years now. But as big a money maker as PSN is for them, the main contributor to that number is of course the PlayStation 4. Big surprise. Sony has now sold more than 40 million PS4s with 17.7 .7 million coming in just last year. And that's almost more than Xbox One has moved this whole generation. While Microsoft is no longer publishing the numbers for the console sales, what? Uh, some more conservative estimates, and they're all third-party estimates if we don't have Microsoft's actual numbers, some of them place it as low as the 18 million mark. Others are more generous generation. and say maybe 20 million for the whole generation. And unfortunately for Microsoft, that number is not improving. From their latest quarterly statement, the company reports a 26% drop in hardware revenue overall. The Wii U isn't much better off, sitting at around 12 million total units. Now, oh, finally, GameCube has some company at the bottom. That was brutal. Why'd you have to bring GameCube? Man, I love my GameCube. Job. Doesn't mean it didn't do, like, pretty terrible. It actually did. It was the shape. It was off-putting. That had a handle! In a series of tweets over the last couple of days, Z Huge X, a video game business analyst on Twitter... And a real professional based on a Twitter handle. Well, he's probably one of the best business analysts on Twitter. I mean, he's Z Huge X. Twitter-based. Has outlined just how impressive Sony's current progress is this generation in terms of console sales. Uh, Z Huge X put together a summary of where other... It. Just say it normal. I just feel like we're it's my bad, my bad. Okay. at that point. Uh, Z Huge X put together a summary of where other major consoles were at the same point in previous generations, finding that only the Wii has done better than the PlayStation 4 by this point. Uh, PlayStation 4 is currently outpacing everything else, including the PlayStation 2. And to be clear, that means that you look at, you lay out the release date and Laying look out. out from that. So you're not saying that PS4 is outselling PS2 right now. Of course they are, but like, like two years out from its release, PS4 is doing crazier than any other console did two years out from its release, with the exception of Wii. It's Just a had to explain that. Historical relative basis. So that leads us to crazy statement number two, that gaming networks are the future of video game consoles. Yeah, again, it doesn't exactly take Professor Layton to figure that one out, but or, the- Or right Mr. Huge X. <laughs> uh, but the rate at which Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo are reconfiguring their business models is pretty astounding. We've already mentioned Sony's ridiculous PSN sales completely outclassing Nintendo as a company. I just had to twist that knife. But PSN sales have actually tripled since the launch of the PS4. Yeah, well they tripled. used tripled because while they only used to represent maybe 21% of the company's gaming sales back in 2013, they now represent 35% and that number is really just going to get bigger. As for Microsoft, their gaming business overall grew 4% this last quarter 
were mostly due to a 22% increase in Xbox Live revenue, meaning Xbox Live sales, money spent per user, that kind of thing. Even though their hardware is down overall, Xbox Live continues to grow, mostly due to where customers are spending their money now online. Yeah, which is why Nintendo's earnings call focused so much on its plans around the future growth of its digital distribution and what it plans to do not only in the mobile realm, but also with NX. But digital distribution? Huh? Yeah. I, get, I get to go back in the patch finally. Oh no! Funhouse did an excellent breakdown of some of Nintendo's more interesting options with the NX yesterday, but whatever route they choose to go next generation, network sales are going to be a huge part of it. Yeah, at Bet the, on it. Yeah, at the moment, Nintendo's network sales only account for about 8% of their total revenue. We can expect that to shift in the future, especially with announcements of big IP coming to mobile. Uh, they first announced both Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing will be making their way to smartphones soon in some form or another and their first experimental foray into mobile, Mitomo, while not a game technically, was an immediate hit with millions of downloads. Like and now we see tweets from Caden every day with half, his outfit half for the day. Half my Twitter feed. Caden's in the background doing thumbs up. <laughs> and nobody, nobody's gonna return that thumbs up, Caden. Nope. Crazy statement number three. People love Amiibos and Minecraft. Which, not I, so crazy. again, so I, so I guess what we're making is reasonable statements. Is they're not crazy, they're all reasonable statements. Obvious um, statement number three. Yeah, but seriously, the level at which people love Amiibos in Minecraft is insane. It's still insane. You may not have heard about Minecraft for a while, still selling great. Say what you will about Nintendo's hard to find and possibly overpriced and addictive line of toys, but people buy the crap out of them. Mostly carry. Uh, according to That's Nintendo's true. earnings briefing, they moved nearly 25 million Amiibo toys and 29 million Animal Crossing Amiibo cards. That's nearly triple the amount of Amiibo they moved the previous year at just around 10 million. That's bigger than the population of New York and LA <laughs> combined. I'm just gonna have Amiibo town. That would be a super creepy city. When you consider that's $11.99 per Amiibo figure and $4.99 for the cards, that can mean that Nintendo makes somewhere around $400 and $50 million just for those stupid pieces of plastic alone. It's which, a genius. It is fairly genius, which is probably a super accurate number because Caden did all the calculations, and we all know that guy is an unbiased genius. I heard he fired one of his teachers. Once again, the thumbs class. up in the background. You can't see it <laughs> every time. Uh, as for Minecraft, remember that whole um, Xbox Live is up 22% number we threw around earlier? Uh, most of that wasn't due to new hotnesses like Halo 5 or Quantum Break. It was actually because of Minecraft. Yes, Minecraft, the game you already probably own in 18 different formats. It's like the godfather of the video game. In addition to Microsoft's briefing, the New York Times also did a report about Minecraft stating that it still moves 10,000 units a day across all its platforms. <laughs> A 10,000 a day after this many years. It's crazy, just prints money. We all made fun of Microsoft for buying it this late in its life. We did all this. question if it was worth the amount of money they spent. Clearly it was. Yeah, on the iTunes Store, Minecraft Pocket Edition makes nearly $35,000 a day by itself. That's a lot of money if you're keeping score at home. While these may seem like random insignificant stats, they demonstrate an idea that many have been talking about recently, the growing value of entertainment brands. Yeah, because the huge amount of opportunities that entertainment companies have to leverage their brands across just about every platform under the sun, we're seeing their value skyrocket. It's why Candy Crush can sell for more money than Star Wars and why Comcast can buy DreamWorks for three billion dollars. Talk about twisting the knife. It seems strange that Minecraft and Amiibos can command the kind of money they're still commanding, but it's just more proof that entertainment brands are playing a different ball game than everybody else. And as gaming continues to grow and surpass other forms of entertainment in terms of revenue, you can expect more toys, more apps, more microtransactions. Uh, really, it's all gonna get worse for your wallet the next generation. Which starts all over again in just a few months if all the rumors are to be believed. Uh, what do you guys think of the future endeavors of Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo? Is Sony winning by that much good for the industry or bad? Let us know in the comments. For future business time news and more numbers to make you cross-eyed, like this video and subscribe to Save the now. now. Welcome to the now. I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm hashtag Bernie and Ashley. Yeah. Right. Take that one. I got the right hashtag. hashtag. Amazing race. Uh, it's that time of year again. Fiscal earnings reports. So exciting. Very exciting. I couldn't imagine anything possibly more exciting than fiscal earnings reports. Do I? Which 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 part's mine? Which part's yours? We're going. Um, we just tradesy. We tradesy. Okay. They used to be color coding. Well, they're not anymore. No. Oh. We're professionals now. So how do we know when to trade? There's a new paragraph. Oh, that's it? Got it. <laughs> Welcome to Now, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm hashtag Bernie and Ashley. It's Tommy. <laughs> Dr. Bert, nope.